This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at atom economy. Here we have the equation for calculating percentage atom economy that appears in the IB data booklet. So that's percentage atom economy equals the molar mass of the desired product divided by the molar mass of all reactants multiplied by 100. There are other versions of the equation and they are atom economy equals mass of desired product divided by mass of all reactants multiplied by 100 and mass of desired product divided by mass of all products multiplied by 100. To calculate the atom economy for a reaction, either one of these equations can be used. In this video, I'll be using the top equation because this one appears in the IB data booklet. Next we look at an example. Iron is produced by the reduction of iron oxide in a blast furnace. Calculate the atom economy of the reaction. Here we have the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. Iron oxide reacts with carbon monoxide to form iron and carbon dioxide. We'll start by finding the total of all the molar masses of the atoms in the reactants. So we have two atoms of iron, so that's 2 multiplied by the molar mass of iron, which is 55.85. We have 6 atoms of oxygen, so that's 6 multiplied by the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16.00. And we have 3 carbon atoms, so that's 3 multiplied by the molar mass of carbon, which is 12.01. When we add these together, we get a total of 243.7. Next, we find the total of the molar masses of all the atoms in the desired product, which in this case is iron. So that's 2 multiplied by the molar mass of iron, which is 55.85. And this gives us 111.7. Next we'll use the equation to calculate the percentage atom economy. The total of the molar masses of our desired product, which is iron, is 111.7. The total of the molar masses of the reactants was 243.7. When we do this calculation, we get a percentage atom economy of 46%, which I've rounded to two significant figures. This percentage atom economy tells us that 54% by mass of the reactants do not end up in the desired product. In other words, they are wasted. The higher the atom economy for a chemical reaction, the less waste is produced and the more efficient the reaction is.